What's up everybody? I'm Josh Meek, the Uber Geek. Welcome to Pretty Dece, your daily entertainment and pop culture show. I'm back from vacation, back in my regular studio. Happy to keep delivering you the daily pop culture and entertainment news that you love. And today we're going to talk about some TV. If there's one thing the entertainment industry will never do, it is let a series just gracefully die. This is becoming more and more of a thing as the years go on. We are seeing it really, really big right now. Series like Will and Grace are being brought back, and they're really playing on nostalgia. They want you to remember growing up, watching this show, all the fond memories you had, and now tune in to their probably sure hit because they put the same name on a current show. So of course this trend is marching right on and the latest show to, to have this sort of revamp, reinvigorate, bring back an old show trend is Roseanne. A lot of you, I'm sure, did grow up watching Roseanne. I certainly did, and Roseanne's coming back at the end of this month. We got the first trailer for Roseanne at the Oscars, and I have very mixed feelings about Roseanne being brought back. First of all, on the on the good side, the entire cast is is coming back. So we of course have Roseanne, you have John Goodman, all of the kids are gonna be there. Like everyone who was important for Roseanne is coming back for Roseanne. The entire family is still going to be there. So it's not going to be a remake where it's confusing, they had to replace characters, or they have to like come up with some weird reason why half of the important cast is not there. It's going to at least in terms of people on the show feel like Roseanne, which is a good thing. The, the flip side though is that it feels kind of unnecessary. You might not know or you might not remember, Roseanne ended with, with Dan, John Goodman's character, dying. He, he, he died in the show, show ended. Uh, the, the entire like season there of Roseanne was about them winning the lottery. Well, this season's going to pick up. Of course, John Goodman is there. He's going to play an important part of this of this reboot of Roseanne. And they're writing it away with, with it just being a dream, <laughs> with the entire sort of lottery winning and Dan dying being Roseanne having written fiction. She was, she was kind of dreaming or coming up with a story, and they're going to explain it away. In the trailer, they explain him dying away from, from just a joke. Like, he wakes up, he has a sleep apnea mask on, and, uh, and he makes a joke about everyone thinks he's dead. That's kind of a bummer to just have to go back and sort of completely nullify kind of an entire season's worth of content just so you can continue the story. That's a perfect sign that maybe you shouldn't necessarily continue the story. All that being said, though, I'm kind of intrigued with what this show is going to bring. Roseanne always felt like so much more of a real family than most television families did. They were weird. They had problems. They were mean to each other, just like I'm sure your family is in a lot of ways. It felt it felt like their lives were, were lived in, uh, which was always a really fascinating thing for me, and I really, really liked Roseanne. And, and there was kind of a lot of love in that show as well. So if they can recapture some of that, if they can get some of those same writers on, get some of those same feelings, this could be a really awesome feel-good show in the face of this like very money-making uh, ploy to, to play on your nostalgia. So it's, it's really interesting that they might be making a good show in spite of the fact that they're just kind of trying to make a buck on this show. This is certainly not the last show that we'll see get remade. Of course, The Office is, is apparently rumored to be coming back at some point in some sort of a remake capacity, or at least the powers that we would love for that to happen. That's another one that I, I both would love to see and am terrified to see because it would certainly be ruined, but I desperately need to see more of The Office because that's my favorite show of all time. And, and, you know, same here with, with Roseanne. I'm, I'm excited to see more. I want to know more about their lives and what they're doing. But it felt like a good stopping point for Roseanne, and it doesn't feel necessary to come back and restart it now. But, I, you know, I, I am I'm open. <laughs> I'm going to keep an open mind and see what I think here about the reboot of Roseanne. So, again, end of the month, we will see Roseanne March 27th, 2018 on ABC. 
And I'm sure we will have lots of opinions when that happens. So that's going to do it for Pretty Dece for today. Thank you very much for joining me on the show. Make sure that you like Pretty Dece on Facebook, facebook.com slash Pretty Dece Show. Follow me on Twitter at Pretty Dece Show and visit prettydeeshow.com. I'll be back tomorrow for another daily episode. In the meantime, hit that subscribe button on the YouTube channel, on the podcast, and inside the Anchor app so you never miss any of the content.